Hello and welcome. It's another edition of Around the Begonia. And we are so very lucky here in the Grand Valley to have a pretty cool event come into the Mesa County Fairgrounds. The Grand Valley Scottish Games and Celtic Festival. And we have pretty much the perfect person to tell you all about it. Hey, and welcome back. It's another edition of Around the Begonia. I'm Katie Mitchell. Thanks for stopping by. And we not only have something very, very cool coming to the Grand Valley this weekend, we have somebody special in studio to tell us all about it. Sharon Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good Glad morning. To be here. Thanks for coming by today. And I just have to point it out you have the coolest accent ever <laughs> and perfect to tell us all about the Grand Valley Scottish Games and Celtic Festival. Now, all kinds of things going on. Starts on Friday, right? Yep. And uh, we've got, just tell us all about it because I know everyone's really excited. So, we got, we got to party and do it in Scottish and Irish style. Yeah. Okay, you got to <laughs> do that. So, we start off Friday night. Here we go. Warehouse 2565 mm -hmm. at 7 o'clock. We will have all the entertainment from the festival at the warehouse that night. Let's all party on down. You get to meet them. Mm -hmm. Some of them are actually flying in from Scotland. So you got to be there to check that out. Tickets are $15 at the door. And again, kicking that off at Warehouse 2565. We're a big fan of that venue here. When you go, you have to try the buffalo cauliflower. Ah, okay. <laughs> I tried it. It's amazing. Yeah, it's yes. really good. I'm sure you'll have your fill of Scottish food that day, but you definitely try that. And you've got stuff going on all day because, again, you said Friday kicks it off. And then uh, Saturday, we've really got that Celtic festival going on. Yes, we do. So let's talk about the Celtic Festival. Yeah, yeah, huh? absolutely. <laughs> so we're at the Mesa County Fairgrounds at 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, the tickets are all various prices. Twel kids 12 and under are free to get in. Um, you know, kids up to the age of 18 are like $10. Oh, yeah, super affordable. Yeah, Yeah, and, and adults are $15 for the day. Now, this is a whole day's event, so when you're in, you're in for the day, and there's lots to see and do. Yeah. So well, let's start with all the pipe bands. We've got six pipe bands coming and battling it out with each other uh, <laughs> to, you know, to do competitions. And for anybody that's not seen that before, that is totally amazing. A fun thing to see and watch. Yeah, and it's up close and personal, right? Yes. So you get to see them. It just It's oh, really yeah. easy to interact. And, I mean, they're just as nervous as any of us <laughs> trying out and all these crowds watching them, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. So then we have heavy athletics going it on. It looks like a telephone pole, but it's a, as we call it, a, a caber. Okay. And they have to toss it, and it's so heavy, and they've got to throw it just the right way and and the right distance and all that so all that is going on and, and that's your agility yes. competition right so you've got heavy lifting throwing yes oh, sounds and like then fun. we actually have a clinic so let's say you decide oh hey i i fancy myself as an athlete <laughs> oh i bet you can't do that well you just go over there and you, you can learn actually, how <laughs> you can actually try it and i noticed too you have a, one of my favorite things about the festivals are the clans like the family heritage you've got the crests and everything right and they tell a lot about the lineage which is really neat you can go learn a lot about scottish uh, heritage as well that is one of the most important things about mm -hmm. these festivals and uh, why we have it uh, to inform people of their heritage mm -hmm. basically in this day and age everybody's looking at ancestry.com and things like that so i mean this you could go in with the last name of black say and you want to find your clan and you want to know the history or oh, am I Scottish, am I Irish? And mm -hmm. they go back and they tell you all kinds of things. And what would the Scottish, uh, the Celtic festival be without kilts? I know a lot mm -hmm. of those, right? <laughs> yeah. There's so many beautiful tartans, we call it. it Tartels? It like tartan. Tartans. It okay. looks like plaid, but it's tartan. And that basically, every different color, every different represents a clan, a family name. Everybody has their own tartans. That is neat. Yeah, and yeah. you can see them all on display, right? They have them hanging yeah. up, and you can see them. You can actually buy them from me. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Nice plug there. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> I actually have a Scottish business where I um, import all kinds of goods from Scotland and Ireland. So that's what I do. And oh, that is cool. Absolutely. Taylorscroft.com. There you go. <laughs> and, you know, I, I also love that you're giving back to our community because... Well, actually, all of the active duty are in for free because it's Armed Forces Day and we will be celebrating it with colors and things. Um, all the veterans are $10 tickets 
for the day. Okay. Yes. That's perfect. That's so great that they get to go out and experience it. And then after the big festival that night out at Edgewater Brewery, we want to give a big shout out to them because they have custom designed a beer brewed it specifically for the Grand Valley Scottish Games and Celtic Festival. Tell us about that beer, Sharon. That is Scottish Ale. Woo! Yes. So custom brewed especially for this event. So uh, we'll have a beer tent yes. there. The Celtic caterer, he's coming. And what he does is he does cooking demonstrations live in front of everybody where you get to watch them making Scottish or Irish food and you get to taste it as well. <laughs> we have um, agility dogs coming yeah. from like the Meeker uh, Sheepdog uh, Festival and they're coming to do all their things so people can watch the demonstrations and how smart these dogs are. Oh my gosh, have you seen them? Oh. They are so insanely smart. They put my dogs to shame, the things those dogs could do. So they're gonna be out there as well. Yeah, the other thing that um, people should know is that we're doing, um, there's a whole big section there uh, for families and all the kids are 12 and under are free. So when they come in, there'll be a section there, like it's got bouncy castles for them. Oh, nice. There's face painting. It's really neat. And again, you can just go to the website. You can get your tickets at the door, but it is gvsgcf.com. So Grand Valley Scottish Games and Celtic Festival, the acronym to that. And, uh, you know, we're really excited about this. Everyone in the Valley is talking about it. And you've really thought of everything. There is something for everyone at this festival. And again, those tickets, so affordable for the whole family. It's just growing growing by the minute yeah and we're so excited for this weekend so thank you again for stopping by we're thank really you. excited absolutely and again that website for you gvsgcf.com hey thanks so much for stopping by around the begonia make sure you check out the grand valley scottish games and celtic festival this weekend